Hey guys, Daniel Master 87 here, and uh, today I'm finally doing a uh, another Let's Play of Resident Evil Remaster. Uh, I've done Chris's story before, and now I'm going to play the other character, Jill, because I think uh, knowing more about her story is going to help out a lot and understanding the events of RE3 and the other games she's in moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. <laughs> we continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Yeah, this is the first game, Jim and I. Jill looks the best in this game out of like every future game. I don't care what anyone says. So it begins. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Barry, missed you in the movie, What man. is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to <laughs> go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. I like how they still have, like, semi-cheesy dialogue. 
Like the first, the original was full of that. A dining room. A dining room. What is this place? It, it looks like some kind of dining room. I have this on medium difficulty, I think. So hopefully it's not too easy, not too hard. Hang on, can I go ahead and do this puzzle already? Okay, so... Short sword has been put through the breast of one knight while the long sword has been pierced through the head of the other. Except I can't interact with this clock yet. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Are you gonna taste it to make sure? Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Okay. I will not take the emblem yet because I don't think we have a storage chest yet and I don't want to overburden myself with stuff. Stay back. You're under arrest. What's taking this guy? Oh wow, that's really slow. Now I've got bullets. I just don't want to use it here because you can do this, I think. care of it what the hell is this thing I found Kenneth killed by this thing let's report this to Wesker oh is he gonna follow me back into the main room he's still alive Wait, he left. <laughs> I'd rather have my partner, uh... Really? I just... Yeah, I'd rather have him use the bullets on zombies and not waste my precious ammo. I thought this door was locked, it just wanted us to stay so we checked that the zombie left. Good idea. Where's our map? We have a lot to explore. <laughs> now we have a pistol with 15 bullets, three ink ribbons for saving, and a knife for close encounters. And then uh, 
I'm supposed to have a personal item right here, but we don't have it yet. Yeah, Wesker from DVD before he was all, uh, RE5 freaking god tier level strength. I keep saying finish searching the hall, but I can't imagine there's gonna be too much in here. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then I'll try the door again? on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Ah, uh, they didn't keep that line in. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Because in, in the original game, you're supposed to say something stupid like, I'll just give this lockpick to you, the master of unlocking. Like such an a natural thing to say. And then, uh, yeah, that's a, a theme in some of these Resident Evil games where you're safer together, right? But people leave each other all the time for seemingly no reason. Like, not even RE4 abandons that. Or it's like, oh yeah, sure, we just fought these guys together, but let's leave each other again. Probably hardware limitations, but you know. There's the dagger. Emergency evade. Uh, this teaching is uh, about the defensive items like the dagger. If a zombie gets close enough to grab us, we can just use a dagger to get out of it instead of taking a health state. What is this crap? Like a radio or something. Oh, that's the taser! Okay, so that's what I saw in that uh, opening cutscene. I guess if you have batteries or something, or maybe this is just for easy mode. If you're playing as Jill, I guess you can use the taser to get the zombies off you. And this is her personal item, the lockpick. A tool for unlocking most simple locks. It's freaking crazy looking. So, uh, Chris had the personal item of the lighter, so he could light zombies on fire, and she has the lockpick, so... We might not be able to light the zombies on fire, so they, uh, come back to life. I'm gonna try to get around him. There's no room. I don't. Oh! Yeah, that's what you use the dagger for. Now push him in, and he gets trapped forever. Peace, nerd. And there's nothing else we can do in this room, I don't think. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. I'd rather use the dagger on him and save my bullets. If anything happens, let's meet up in this room. Except we don't. Because something just happened and you're not there. Let's check outside. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. Oh. 
get him. What the? Okay. Let's not do that again. Because now we have nine bullets. But we're going to stick to the script and stay on the first floor. Here's the save spot. I apparently gave Jill jiggle physics in this game. kind of a theme with Capcom horror games, RE4, freaking uh, haunting ground, stuff like that. The corpse of Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. A film. But I need a thing to play it on. Oh, the zombies there. Yeah, old school Resident Evil has the freaking ink ribbons, limited saves. Hey, a handgun magazine. You know this guy's gonna come back to life, look at him. I'll take one of these. The silence is deafening. This freaking place. <gasps> Do I even need to go that way? The way I'm facing has the only two open doors, so to my character's left and to her right. Okay. And we can do nothing here, I'm pretty sure. It's locked. May whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. So this is the armor. Go. Can manually reload too. some Indiana Jones crap as soon as you swipe the thing off the other thing. So I think these are all dead ends where we just went.
Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this guy if we want to progress. Bruh. Can I like, uh, pretty sure he's not dead. Bruh. That crap was so unfair. Just use it now to play safe. He took so many shots, man. There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. Don't tell me there's another one down here. Okay, good. It's locked. It's gotta be now. I can't see him. I think I wasted a bullet there, but it's fine. Oh yeah, he's dead. Wow. Yeah, the knife takes a lot more hits to kill guys than it does in RE4. We gotta get off this freaking level. In fact, I need more herbs, because I'm about to die. I'll take this one at least. What's even crazier is how these zombies can get back up after all of that. They come back as the freaking crimson heads. So I hope I can find a way to burn them before that happens. That's the little bit we've explored on the second and third floors. And this is a freaking cartoony secret doorway in the painting. The painting that has a door handle on it. Locked on the other side. I'm not gonna take the shotgun shells because we don't have it yet and I don't want to waste inventory space. A tomb engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Yeah, this is a dead end because we don't have an arrowhead. These big doors right here open to something. The 
a zombie up here, I hear. He was really close. If we get grabbed again, we have another chance with this. I need him to come this way a little bit so I have time to push that thing. You can uh, see where the zombie is by seeing where she aims. Is he seriously going that way? Wow. Clearly you would come the other way around. Yeah, why is he coming from this side? <gasps> Dude, these freaking camera changes. He sounded so far away. By lady. Just broke an expensive freaking statue. Stained glass window, the pattern resembles a woman, yada yada. So there's nothing up here either. Okay, he's far enough away. What about in here? There's gotta be progress somewhere. Cause everything so far is just locked doors. Imagine you're in a mansion, right? And there's like 10 freaking doors and eight of them are locked. Like who does that? You lock the front door, not all these other ones. I might have to go back up to that hallway in case there's something I missed in that hallway. I think that's where the arrow might be. And there's the blue gem we knocked on the ground. Because we couldn't have just grabbed it out of her hand like a normal person. We had to knock the whole statue from the second floor down. Is this something over here? It looks like I could pick that blue thing up or whatever. Resident Evil is the master of backtracking puzzles. Like, I can't uh, do this puzzle now. I have to wait till I come back to this area that I was at at the beginning of the game. Here's the golden arrow. Yeah, I know how to examine items. I'm not a Resident Evil rookie anymore. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. The arrowhead is made from Peridot, whatever that is. Sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Well, that answers my question. More ammo. Where did that come from? 
He's back up. That's what that was. Combine it. It's locked. Oh, I unlocked it. How'd I do that? Oh, because... I've got a lock pick. <laughs> so how are all those doors locked to me? I've got a freaking lock pick, man. That just clicked with me. Okay, he's on the other side. I'm not sure if putting the arrow in that space is going to do anything. I'm pretty sure it just unlocks that secret passage down, but what is even down there for me at this point? You're gonna have to watch Jill walk around injured for a few minutes because I am not using up this green herb unless I have to. Cue the Zelda. <laughs> These stupid faces. A stone statue with a hole where the eye should be. You mean the freaking eye sockets like on a normal statue? And all these guys have holes on their faces. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Where you take the book of curses. Dude, that camera angle scared me. Like the coffin was about to fall down. It's titled Book of Curses. And nothing else, apparently. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will I remove it? Yes, I will. I got the mansion key. And also... It's just explaining about the masks. What kind of key is it though? You always have to do this to make sure. An engraving of a sword, so it's the sword key. What is this place? Some freaking random tomb dungeon thing. We should have doors unlocked to us. But it's not going to say on the map because that would be convenient. We have to go to every door to see is this a sword door? Is this a sword door? Mash the wall with the X button like you do on Doom. There's nothing here but a bunch of knickknacks. Okay, that's my footsteps. You always have to do a double take. Yeah, this uh, area right here was in that demo cutscene, and there was like three zombies in this freaking corner attacking her, so... That's not a good omen. I'm gonna take the wooden mount because we need it for later. It just opens to freaking paper attached on the inside with nothing written in it.
No, I don't want to take the dog whistle yet. Play the radio. The record is Jupiter. Will I take the lighter? Yes. Aw, oh, crap. Now my inventory's full. Words are carved on it. Don't play with fire, love, Jessica. Where does it say that? It straight up doesn't. So yeah, instead of having the lighter up here as our personal item, we have to carry it around to light the zombies on fire, I guess. What I do miss from RE0 is when it would tell you, like, what items are laying around in the room. Now it just says, uh, it's red. <gasps> Hang on. I might not need to waste bullets on him yet. What I do for you. Crapola. In here. You don't expect them to take so many shots to kill. Oh, first aid spray, thank goodness. Sword key, I'm gonna need that. Put the wooden mount up for now. I might be able to get grabbed one more time without going into the red or getting killed or whatever, so I'm gonna wait on using the first aid spray. In which case I can just put this up. But I don't want to lose my progress, definitely not. So I'm gonna save. Disposal of dead bodies, you have to burn them, yeah, yeah. More pistol ammo. Now we're actually stacked on freaking ammo. I'm gonna grab this also. I don't know how I survived that encounter back there. It just happened. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Refill your canteen. Mm -hmm. So this is what we use to burn the zombies, which I will do as soon as I go out there, I think. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Yes. <laughs> I'm just spamming through the freaking stuff and speaking just as quickly. We're gonna go ahead and save over Chris's saves because we're not gonna go back to them. There's like four zombie bodies out in this mansion that need burning, so I'm going to try to do that as much as I can. Hopefully neither of these move. One already did. It's not necessary to use this now. What you mean? The zombies are right here, man. Pretty sure you take damage from that too if you don't back up. Okay, so he's not gonna be getting back up because we just burned him. What about this other guy? Some of these zombies are freaking silent until you hear them start moving. The fact that this guy got up, man, is creeping me out.
and the unlit fireplace. Let's use the lighter. Lines carved into the relief grow, glow red in the intense heat. And now I know what to do with that, but I'll have to go back for that. Can I just use the green herb or do I have to have inventory space? No, I was just gonna throw it out. I wasn't gonna check this door, but let's not get distracted. stuff up. Let's refill the canteen. I forgot to put up the ink ribbons too. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to heal myself because there's plenty of green herbs around. Wow, that only healed me once. Now I see why it's a uh, medium difficulty. Because they added the orange health state as opposed to just green, yellow, and red. Now this is one of the weirdest freaking puzzles ever. You have to light the fire so that the heat goes up and turns this freaking map red. That's what it is. And then you open this weird wooden thing with paper on the inside. And you press it against it. And it doesn't get set on fire somehow. And then you get the map. Because the red hot thing burnt a picture of the map onto the paper. And didn't light it on fire. I am going to pick this and a red herb up though so I can mix them. Marijuana. Now we have mixed herbs, which can heal us to full. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, I forgot to put the lighter up. Having to use two freaking uh, inventory slots to burn bodies is going to be rough. Store this. And there was no door to my right, right? It's just this one. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway? Yeah, sure. No, I need the first aid spray in case I get injured. Oh, I didn't even go in the right area I thought I was going to.
burn you. Oh, he's still up. That's what that means. Missed. That's not good. Okay, now we can burn him. That? Oh, what the? I might die here. Get off of me. Make sure he's dead. <laughs> the sound effect it makes. Yeah, that's why we kept the first aid spray. There's something written on the indentation, the defiler of the accursed coffin. So that's giving us a clue that that's where the piece is. So we just fought that dog for now, for nothing. Now he's gone because we set his body alight. And there's something in here. But we can't open it yet. This is the stupid door that is a super quick shortcut to the save room. But the more times you use the door, the sooner it's going to break the freaking lock. And then you can't go through it anymore for some reason. The knife is kind of trash, but it can save you bullets that are very useful to save. Now we have two daggers, freaking ink ribbon, there's got to be something else useful in here, shotgun, am I even able to come back in here because I don't want to miss out on these ink ribbons, that might just be what I'll do. Take these. Well, it's gonna say the room's red because we left the shotgun, but. Picture stands and bronze statues. There's nothing of interest here at all. There are traces of something burnt here. Oh, you mean because it's a fireplace? An acrid smell permeates the air. Or acrid, whatever. The dogs do not come back to life uh, just because you didn't burn them. That's the special thing about them. It's only the zombies. I still have one kerosene thing, which I can use to kill a zombie. Oh, I use the lockpick. So I'm guessing what that is, the lockpick opening the doors is... Crap. Just gonna jump over. 
can't drop anything either. I can't carry any more items. So what is this door? But yeah, that's probably the lockpick's purpose, like, Jill doesn't get a key that Chris does get, and so... <laughs> Dude, nothing can stop these dogs! Oh, he's dead already. Wasted ammo. And I can't pick the dagger back up. You shoot the dogs like three times and they keep coming. Oh my god, I actually got him before he attacked me there. It's the first time it's happened. You can actually push these. More ammo. Oh, I can't push this one, I don't think. Because it's part of the pre-rendered background. Pre-rendered backgrounds are still a pretty good idea for survival horror games. They don't look that bad either, with some graphics touching up. Because Resident Evil and Final Fantasy VII and all that crap. Still looks good. Yeah, I wasted two bullets, whatever. I'm gonna push this back just in case it gets through somehow. I still forget how I get up there because I don't think... I don't know if I can push this out this way to get it. Barry. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? Where have Other you than been? Other still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. <laughs> See you later. You just freaking Ciao. met up. Chow, she says. Oh yeah, I know I'm injured and you can see that, but let's just split up. I can go back here and assuming that zombie's still down, I can burn him. Because we're going to have to go here more than a few times. Not this room, but the next one. I'm going to need to put that emblem over the fireplace on something at some point. Let's do it. Sword key. A bunch of spices you've never seen before. Another dagger, that's like the third or fourth one. Stacks and stacks of handgun magazines. 
The dishes are crawling with maggots. A piece of meat from an unidentified source. Right. The power doesn't seem to be turned on. It's locked from the other side. Am I looking at this wrong or is this like a glass door? Can't you just kick it in and then freaking go through that way? It's green anyway, there's nothing else we need from this area. What the heck is that? Yeah, way too much going on. But this is how, uh, how exciting the game is. Whenever you kind of know what you're doing and aren't walking around lost for like 10 minutes. I don't actually have to kill you. I can save my ammo. Ring around the rosy at the table. You definitely feel more immersed in the game the more frequent the cutscenes play. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Screw that. Knock the freaking lock off. That's kind of what you can do in uh, RE4. I have a lock pick, by the way. <laughs> It's locked from the other side. Is my inventory full? So it might be pointless coming down here. The horrible noise of these freaking crows. Crap, I don't... I'm out of kerosene. Yeah, that guy's up again. I can hear him. We don't need to go up here, I don't think. But just in case, I can open this other door. Also wish it told you on the map like what doors were what. It's locked, we need a helmet key. Which I don't think we've actually seen yet. Because we've got the sword key and then I think this is the armor key. It has to be, right? If I just cross-reference. Yeah, this is the sword key, the other one's the armor key, because those are the only two we've seen so far. How are you still alive? locked he got up again I downed that guy like two times already some zombies like the one in here that you actually don't need to kill because they'll never catch up to you. And they're not impeding your progress by being in your way or whatever.
we've seen Barry a few times. We definitely don't see Chris because uh, the whole concept is that Jill and Chris don't see each other. Like even till the game's end, even though we know they both survive. Just because it's like you're playing one character story and the other. But I also don't think we see Wesker anymore during Jill's remaining story. It's locked. Is there any door in this house that isn't locked? It's locked from the other side. You have an awful lot of one-way locks, you know? Like, what if someone just locks themselves in there, jumps out the window, and then you're screwed because no one can get back in there? Okay. We're back here. Refill my canteens. And probably save. And I'm gonna take this handgun ammo too. wonder what the inspiration was for like making the the typewriters the save stations like where did that come from I know it had to be some kind of object okay three slots available I want to get the shotgun, but we need another item in order to get it, and you'll see why later. There's nothing there for us except maybe that gray door, which means we can go through it, but we haven't opened it yet. Yeah, the doorknob's ready to fall apart. You told me that last time. Other way. Yeah, I just got turned around. this door. Can't believe I missed it coming through last time. Looks like the water still works and there's a toothbrush on the edge of the sink. It doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. Do need an item from here. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Oh. 
How does that make her throw up? It's like the 20th zombie she's seen. Okay, we have no reason to come back in here. 